What's up guys, how you guys doing? This is Ray and in this video, I wanna talk about the Mbox 2 and Yosemite. Yosemite's Apple's new operating system was released not so long ago. Although, let me tell you guys, it works great. They run into some problems, but in this video, I just wanna speak about the Mbox 2. There's a lot of users out there that are saying that their Mbox 2 doesn't work. And you know what, I have two of them, and I can tell you I ran into the same problem, but I have the solution. Very simple fix. For the Mac side, you got 10.39. If you install that driver, you're gonna notice right away. The minute you restart your computer and it comes on, nothing's happening. And if you go to your system preferences and you see the little digi design icon, you click that, it's gonna tell you they didn't find anything. So here's a solution. You could either get rid of 10.39 manually, or you could get an application like App Cleaner, which is free, and remove it. Once you remove it, make sure you unplug the Mbox, install the previous version, which is uh, 10.33, reboot your computer. Once you see your desktop, plug in your Mbox, and there you go. You're gonna see the light turns on. You could verify that it works by going to your uh, system preferences, clicking the Digi Design icon, and it's gonna recognize it right away. And that's it, your Mbox should work fine. Now, on my system, every time I restart, it doesn't recognize it, so I would have to unplug it, plug it back in. So what I end up doing, when the computer's off, I disconnect the Mbox, turn the system on, then when I see all my icons, I plug it in and it works without a problem. It's just every time I reboot, I gotta do that. Remember guys, it's a new operating system. Before you install it, create an image, back up your current operating system. So there you go guys, you see that like button, click that. If you have a question, post in the bottom and check the description. I'm gonna have all the links that you need there. You don't have to go to Google and search for anything. I'll have everything there, including the application to remove the software. Later, guys.